Lucas Media. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. So, I'm sure everybody knows about Ryan Garcia calling out Bernard Hopkins and Oscar De La Hoya at his press conference yesterday going up against Oscar Duarte. Well, of course, Oscar did an interview afterwards, and he was asked more or less, you know, about the whole Ryan situation. And I'm going to tell you what Oscar said. Bernard stated that basically if Ryan, if he was Ryan, he would retire after the second loss. And since Bernard stated that if it was him as a legend, as a fighter, as a hero, this is what he would do, which is retire after another loss. He didn't say this is what Ryan should do. So when you're dealing with kids, it's really hard to get that message across when you have Ryan saying this and that. It's all BS. So let me unpack what Oscar was saying, right? Because Oscar, you know, he's Ryan Garcia's boss. And he's basically saying, you know, we don't understand why Ryan wasn't around. I mean, why he's acting like this. And, you know, he just get he just gave his opinion. Bernard, you know, Bernard also owns part of golden boy promotions but unless people just don't remember or maybe it didn't happen maybe it was me maybe maybe i need to get new contacts but the reason why ryan feels some kind of way is because again when he was at that podium after his tko lost to tank davis the only people that the only person that was there was golden boys president i can't remember his name off the top of my head oscar de la hoya and Bernard Hopkins was not there. They wasn't there because they didn't want to face Floyd and Leonard Ellaby um, laughing at him as they were in the ring. Floyd and Oscar have been having this issue, this beef they've had with each other, this love-hate relationship with each other really since around the time they fought and then Floyd end up doing some type of partnership with Golden Boy. Remember, they would help do all his fights and all of that. But they've been having this back and forth since. So Oscar did not want to stand up there with his fighter, him and Bernard. After a loss, they didn't want to face it. Now, Oscar keeps saying to us, well, guys, I was threatened and my security team told me I had to leave and, you know, think his world life could have been in danger. Well, number one, everybody who's famous gets death threats. Number two, you were at the T-Mobile arena. And number three, you could have a team of security with the boys in blue with you. So you would have been just fine. I guarantee you, if, if Ryan would have went in there and he would have dropped Tank Davis or beat Tank on the decision, Oscar and Bernard would have been right there in the ring. And also, let's not let's not forget Joe Goosen. He disappeared. Ryan Garcia's trainer afterwards. He didn't even show up at the press conference. So then Ryan ended up going with uh, Derek James. Shout out to him as his, as his new trainer. So yeah, the, the, does Ryan lash out? Absolutely. But how could you not expect him to do that? That would be like, you know, you guys working for somebody. And y'all going to get somebody else. It could be a spelling bee, anything. And things don't go out in your favor. And the person that, that's riding with you, that's supposed to be validating you, they leave. Because they don't want to stand up there in embarrassment with you. You're supposed to go all out with your fighters, win, lose, or draw. But, you know, Oscar and Bernard, they don't understand that. They don't see that. And this is why, what, another reason why... Golden Boy is where they at. As I keep saying, they had all the fighters at one point, and now they really the only real person that they have is Ryan Garcia. And we still have to see whether or not he is a pay per view star. Because from what I heard, they still selling tickets and everything at the arena in Houston, the Toyota Center. So I just want to get my two cents on what Oscar and them had to say. And I really want to know your opinion about it. What y'all think about all of this?